Hello and welcome back to this face. My name is Ellie and I'm so glad that you're here. Today, as you can probably hear, is the most cozy, rainy spring day. There is fog, there is rain, everything's so green. It just feels so cozy and it feels like the right day to do a very chill, thrifting vlog. So I am at one of my favorite thrift stores in town and we're gonna see if we can find anything good. I'm hoping we can come out of there with a mommy and me type of situation, but who knows? It's Montana thrifting, so it's always a gamble. But let's see what we can find. didn't find exactly what we were looking for but we did find some items so we'll go ahead and scoot along home I'll clean up all this stuff and then we'll show it to you we did get a couple of clothing items so we'll style those for you too just for some fun some rainy afternoon fun so let's go cozy coffee to the living room to do our thrift haul. The first thing I got that I'm really excited about, I'm already wearing. I'm always on the lookout for linen pants. I love them, especially drawstring because my size has been fluctuating like crazy since having a baby. I found a pair of Old Navy linen pants, brand new for $6 and I am so excited about that. So my vision of a mommy and me outfit didn't exactly pan out, but I did find Fitz some really cute denim overalls. He already has a pair, but the straps on them are like a red, white, and blue stripe, which I think for 4th of July is gonna be really cute. But for the everyday neutral vibe that I love, it isn't great. So I'm glad we found these to replace those and I'll just gift those to somebody who wants them because nobody needs two pairs of denim overalls. Nobody that's six months old needs two pairs of denim overalls. In the end, I thought our outfits coordinated pretty cute. I don't know, it was just like coastal grandma for both of us and I was living for it. We decided to take a cruise through the book section because the last time I was at this place, they had a really cool children's Bible that was illustrated just like really bomb, but I didn't see it there. Um, but I did find Good Night Moon in the squishy cover. We already have this book thanks to a friend um, and I actually never read it until I had fits but it is the coolest book. Obviously it's a classic for a reason. So I'm glad we have the hardcover, I don't know what you call these, like just board books. Is that what it is? Cardboard books? Anyway, I'm glad that we have this version of it now because it just seems more like baby friendly. The other thing I decided looking for was Disney DVDs as I cruise through thrift stores because we have Amazon Prime and that's great, but every once in a while we have a hankering for a Disney movie and if I can pay $2 for a DVD instead of $4 for a rental, it seems like a better deal. So I found two Disney movies that I think we're really gonna like and maybe Jesse will want to watch one of them tonight. Number one, The Jungle Book. This is one that we talk about all the time and actually Fitz has the book version and we sing the songs from it to him all the time. We love it. And another one, a more modern classic, The Incredibles. This is such a good movie and we, <laughs> 
I don't know, if you know, you know, we always say, release the baby. Last of all, I'm very excited about this purchase, but it's kind of a gamble one. So I have like, since childhood, been obsessed with Mary Kate and Ashley. I am still obsessed with them as adults. I think their fashion sense is incredible. They have a line called Elizabeth and James and their perfumes are crazy good. So the classic scent that I wear all the time, particularly in the fall, is bourbon. It's amazing. It's incredible. I also have the amethyst version. The one perfume I don't have from that line, oh, I think there's another one. There's like a gray colored one, um, is the rose. And I have never smelled it. Or if I do, I don't remember what it smelled like. But they had it there, a full bottle and I didn't even smell it, I just grabbed it because it was $6.50. We are going to, on camera, smell this thing and hope for the best. For the best? We are going to hope for the best. <laughs> this says it's geranium and vetiver, Vet vetiver, it's all, that's always, look at it, look at it. How do you say this? That's always an ingredient in perfumes and I don't know how to say it, I don't even know what it is. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, I can kind of already smell it and I'm not sure if I like it. But like a bottle like this size is going to run like, I think it's like $70. So for me, I feel like it was a good purchase. Hmm. Why do I feel like this should be for a man? It is perfume for a lady. It smells like cologne. It smells like a nice man. I don't know that I would wear this, but it smells like a very nice man. I'm gonna have Jesse smell it later. If he likes it, maybe I'll try it out on my skin. I, I just don't know how I feel about it. Editing Ellie here. That fragrance no longer runs like $60. It's actually, I guess the line is discontinued. I don't know how I fell down this rabbit hole. The line is discontinued. You can get this for like 25 bucks on Amazon. I am on a perfume website where people are writing their reviews. <laughs> Let me just say, when I purchased the bourbon perfume, which I am still obsessed with, the reason I pulled the trigger on purchasing it was because somebody's review said that you would smell like somebody's boozy younger sister. And hello if that's not on brand for me. But the reviews for this rose perfume are hysterical. Most people are saying it makes you smell like a witchy tarot card reader. I'm not interested in that. However, I am interested in this. I read somewhere someone described this fragrance as what Heathcliff from Wuthering Heights would smell like, and it's 100% accurate. This is what a broody, gothic, romance novel hero would smell like. Yes, and amen. It is so accurate. And now I love the perfume. So let this be a lesson to you. If you're unsure whether you like a perfume or not, read the reviews. So that wraps up the haul portion of this rainy day chill thrift with me vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We're just going to continue being cozy and listening to the rain fall while we do some chill activities. And I hope you do too. Ciao babies.